welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the sun moon and rising aquarians i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back it's going to be a wonderful positive um week um the energy vibration of the week is the energy of and it is also in your reading so it came back in your reading is the energy of the tower so whatsoever is happening there is going to be a cleansing for you aquarians you are of uh, air sign and the energy vibration this week is fire okay and it's also the zodiac energy of fire so for you um hair people it's going to be a week of uh, extremely changes that is going to happen for you aquarians in this week whatever the situation is it's going to be extreme a um energies i want to say thank you for returning thank you for your likes and share thank you for the wonderful energies that you have been sending to me and i'm sending you back love and light please remember to listen to your sun moon and rising sign go back and listen to the month of august reading because this is going to be positive this is going to bring you wonderful more information that is going to happen for the second half of of the month okay because we're in the middle of the month in this um, reading as I look at your readings you have the energy of hurt bringing balance but yet still the tower coming down and tearing down things you have the three of ones which is uh, with the energy of the tower is uh, releasing things out of your life you're moving away and starting something else you have the eight of one so information will be coming at you and information um, a lot of information will be coming in speed at you and um, and you're going to find the energy of the page of one bringing a message and this is a message that it is the end of your burden whatever burden you were carrying and new uh, new possibilities new openings are going to be happening for you Aquarian so let's see what is the energies that the angels for the Aquarians and guides of the Aquarians wants to give them as their focus in this week you have the energy of the nine of cups so it's going to be a wonderful week because it's going to be an emotional week with the energy of fire so cleansing so expect relationships and that sort of a thing whatever you no longer need a work business uh, friendships will be eclipsing out of your life because the eclipse has just left eclipsing out of your life the eclipse was on the seventh so it's going to be eclipsed out of your life whatever the situation was the nine of cups is going to come in so your wishes and your dreams dreams are going to be granted in this week so realize that whatever needs to leave your life needs to leave your life in this week and move to something a place that is much better so the nine of cups is a really wonderful positive energies and whatever is happening whatever imbalances that there was is going to be coming out and happening for you so this week begins from the on, begins on the 14th of uh, August until the 20th of August. Let's see what other energies are here to guide us in every day. Let's see what other energies are going to be here to guide us. Let's see what other energies are going to be here to guide us. There's a lot of energies that with the the nights are coming in. So the knights are bringing message one is trying to get away with something but is it going to happen no because the tower is going to blow up so it's not going to happen we begin the week with the energy vibration of the king of pentacles and this person whoever this person is this person have true inner wisdom depends on whoever it is whoever however you look at this person this person has true inner will wisdom this king of pentacles is someone that was sent in your life to show you certain situation and certain show you certain things so whatever is happening the vibration of this king of pentacles um, is bringing um, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Wands is always the energy of a message coming in. The Knight of Wands is actually twice in your reading. So whatever is going on, be aware that a lot of you are going to be receiving message messages from fire sign people. So may you be receiving messages from the Aries, the Leo, and the Sagittarius. So whoever um, and most of you, if you're a kid, you'll be receiving message from your grandfathers. I'm getting that. So if you're a kid expect a message read a, uh, receive a message from your grandfather and he's a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn so this is going to be a positive positive set and a positive week for um, 
uh, you Aries on the first the Monday the first which is the 14th um, you have the earth energies and also the energy of the fire but whatever is happening you're receiving a message from a Taurus Leo or Capricorn and this person is sending this messenger the bearer of the messenger who is going to be a Aries and Leo or a Sagittarius okay so be aware of whatever is going on on Monday on Tuesday we have the energy vibration of the tower and the energy of the tower is a fire energy so it's a day where a lot of things are going to be eclipsed out of your life the eclipse is just finished we have the eight of swords in reverse so whatever is eclipsing out of your life whatever the tower energy is breaking and, and taking away out of your life let it go do not hold on if you realize that you're losing stuff out of your life it's okay because clarity is going to come to you whatever that you're losing there is a lot of clarity that is going to be coming um, at you because there is a cleansing coming up on Tuesday so your day and this is the weak energy of the tower and it is at a pair in your Aquarians reading and whatever is leaving you're after this thing whatever it is because when people leave our lives it's sort of an energy that needs to leave our lives so that we can heal ourselves whatever healing that is happening on Tuesday then you're going to see clarity at whatsoever is happening behind the scenes okay so let's look at Wednesday and what is crowned in your week we have the three of one so a lot of people will be moving away and leaving certain things and certain aspect of yourself okay you'll be moving away from certain things and certain aspect of yourself you are looking for a new part a new journey a new place you're looking to connect to some place which is more positive you're looking to connect to more people that is positive you're leaving things that no longer serve us because the energy of the tower came and you add clarity about your situation on who you are we have the energy of debt and transformation so that is what is happening um, you are leaving things behind and you're moving to some place and something much better that is going to serve you um, much better in your life so a lot of career changes are going to happen a lot of career changes a lot of end of relationships is going to be happening a lot of career changes and a lot of endings of relationships okay so your week is going to have a lot of changes and a lot of a lot of endings of relationship and um, it's a week of change for you people okay a week of change a week of things are cleansing and moving away so you're going to have a week of changes that is coming in for you people okay so whatever that is happening around you it's going to be a wonderful week of changes that is going to come in so this is positive as we move on uh, on Thursday we have a wonderful energies if I can pick up these cards and you have the eight of one so uh, information will be coming at you so let's say that you're a business person or that sort of a thing a lot of invitations a lot of um, um, messages will be coming at you like in speed uh, you could have a business or maybe you're applying for a job maybe you're applying for school whatever maybe it's information that has been sent from university and colleges to you but a lot of invitations are also coming to people a lot of people are going to realize that with a cleansing or whatever that was healed on Tuesday uh, it, it, it is it is um, raise the energy vibration around you and remove all the blockages that was happening to you and a lot of messages and some messages that are coming in is positive messages and it is all about work um, study um, connecting with other people invitations to group and organization that sort of a thing as we look on Friday Friday we have the page of uh, um, once coming up again this is the second time he's here so a lot of messages are going to come in for a lot of people so whatever is happening to you guys in this week a lot of informations are going to come in to you Aquarian so if you're working if you're a business person it's going to be a positive week because a lot of clients will be coming in uh, to you we have the end the energy of the two of cups so whatever is happening some people are going to get emails texts over love people are going to want to connect with you via email and texts phone calls that is what this page of 
um, once is bringing in a lot of email messages over love new connection um, uh, people are going to try to connect with you via email um, um, phone call texts and that sort of a thing so expect that on Friday it's going to be a connection via the internet uh, via the telepathy away also so a lot of people will be uh, telepathically open up on a Friday but it's going to be more of via the email text messages uh, FaceTime messages and that sort of a thing on Friday for you Aquarians okay on Saturday we have the ten of ones in reverse. So um, whatever the burdensome situation is, it is it has been cleansed and re-healed. Okay, so the ten of ones is coming in, is bringing an end to a burdensome situation, and you're starting to build in a group and organization something new, which is going to be exciting and very positive. As you can see, the lights coming up here as she has this brilliant idea and she has put it into work in, and you can. Can see that this the energy that is coming off of this dress you know that this dress is going to be a huge success so this is what is happening so whatever the tower and release out of your life you're going to see that you are going to start to positively vibrate at high energy you're going to see that your business is going to be extremely good you're going to see that you're going to connect with group of people who are in organization who are looking for work that sort of a thing you're going to see that people are going to um, be more lovingly connecting with you on a different total different energy vibration and this is going to be positive so whatever your burden was or is it's in the reverse because the energy of the tower came and released it as we look at the energy vibration for um, Sunday you have the two of ones you have the energy of the two of ones and Sunday the energy of the two of ones is bringing clarity because you have the two of swords this is this has been happening um, since the month of August that I'm getting the same two energies so obviously there is a message one is in reverse and one is um, positive so the two of ones is the energy vibration of new doors and opportunities are open opening up and finally your understanding and finally the blindfold is, has been taken off your face finally whatever that was blocking you that you weren't seeing clearly about certain things and certain situation in your life you're seeing that the blindfold you're now seeing clearly so whatever negative energies was it in your in your aura energies and in your energy vibration that you weren't seeing clearly now it's happening because you're going to see the doors of opportunity opening and you are seeing clearly and you see your way you're, you're you're seeing your way out now because sometimes you are not and you connect sometimes you can't understand certain things and you're wondering why am I being so blocked in certain sort of a situations in my life how can I not get out of the stunk you know how can I not get out of the stunk and this is what is going to happen so as I look at your first half of the week, we have the energy of the the, the, the tower. The tower is uh, um, in the first half of the week. The tower happened. The tower would release in because what a lot of people don't don't like the energy of the tower because they always think what what is going to happen. But the tower energy and you know it's so positive these readings uh, um, because um, it is just the eclipse the eclipse happened on the seventh and now the energy of the week is the energy of the tower so for everyone it's going to affect because the energy of the tower is going to move things out of your life that no longer serves you and this is good and by moving that the energy vibration of an earth energy person the Taurus the Virgo or the Capricorn is going to come in and or is going to send your message and it's going to connect with you and 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 then you are going to see that the energy of the ten of ones the energy of the ten of ones is that you're being in the reverse um, form whatever burdens that you have you're going to connect with people and start expanding that situation that has been happening in your life it's as if for some people they were being blocked and all of a sudden the tower came in this cleansing came in clarity came in they're seeing their way forward and it's going to be good because an earth sign person a Taurus a Virgo a Capricorn is going to come in your life 
and it's going to bring balance and you're going to work together with this uh, um, this earth sign person and by working together with this earth sign person you are going to manifest a lot of stuff that you wanted to manifest in your life as we look at the second half of the week we have the energy vibration of the eight of ones is always uh, speed things coming at you in speed so whatever that you wanted is going to come to you in speed a lot of things are going to come at you in speed a lot of messages um, and, and, and emails a lot of emails a lot of telephone messages a lot of text messages a lot of messages being left on your Facebook but a lot of messages on Thursday will be coming in so be aware of that and it's going to be good messages um, some of you it's gonna be good messages for some of you for, for most of you it's going to be good messages because it's as if if you wanted to connect to a certain school a certain group a certain organization whatever it is good messages are going to come at you people are going to want to connect with you so it's, it's the second half of the week is, is, is a lot of good messages coming into you as we look at what is happening here is that the two of ones is doors a door a portal is going to be opening up in your life when I said a door and portal I mean if you were looking for work and it has been you know like rough or you wasn't picking up the right works the new the what is is that career change that is going to happen for you it's going to happen in this week and it's going to be an extreme positive um, career change whatever is happening you're going to see positivity um, transformation happening in your life and it's going to be extremely good okay so it can affect you in different ways as we look and um, there's going to be another uh, uh, um, on Friday it's going to be a day for love for you guys it's going to be a positive day for love because a lot of text message invitation you know would you like to go out and have something to to heat with me a lot of that sort of energy is going to be happening because a lot of people wants to connect with you a lot of people likes you a lot of people are feeling your energy vibration the text message um, emails are coming in about love so the the last part of the week it's all about messages coming in to you with speed and it's all about love whatever the situation is in the last half of the week and especially for love a lot of invitation a lot of connection people are going to be asking you to connect with them people are going to be telling you how they feel about you and how they have felt about you for so long and this is going to be extremely positive so whatsoever that has been taken place for you your love life in the last section of this week is going to be extremely positive because there's a lot of messages a lot of connection a lot of telephone calls a lot of text messages, a lot of whatsapp whatever that is going it's going to be working out for you guys so in love it's going to be a positive week a lot of people are going to be connecting with each other let's see what energy what chakras I'm calling up the angels of chakra to show the Aquarians what chakra they will be working on with this week okay you Aquarians get the third eye chakra the third eye chakra so um you need to call upon Archangel Raphael to touch open and activate your third eye chakra okay call upon Archangel Raphael to um, to open up your third eye chakra there is also a, a message for the third eye chakra also because I have all these um, situation that is happening there there is sorry there is also a message from the third eye chakra that the messages that are coming through and these are positive message um, especially if you're a psychic whatever you are whoever you are the energy of the third eye chakra is coming up and it's going to be opening up for you so when we look at <laughs> I'm looking for it and it's right here um, whatever that is happening it's going to be positive for you people and the color um, for this week for you people is going to be the indigo the sound is going to be um o m um, um. 
the element is going to be light okay so it's going to be a week of light and what you have in the middle of the week is the three of ones which you are looking for a new place so um, the glance is going to be the paneer glance so work on your paneer glance find out how you can clean your paneer glance and the key word is that I see I see so when you have the energy of the third eye it's I see so you can use the cell and you can cleanse your energy because you're calling up on the creator of all things to connect with you okay so it's going to be a wonderful um, positive week for you guys I don't see um, the tower energy is always cleansing so I don't see anything negative whatever burdens that you have it's going to be um, reverse and with that burden it's as if uh, you are going to just walk away from the burden and you're going to st try and start something new connecting with other groups of people and situation and start something new in your life so this is going to be extremely wonderful whatever is happening okay so don't be alarmed to whatever that is happening it's going to be um, positive positive situation that are coming in your life so be aware of that so I am using the and uh, the Oracle of the E the Oracle of the E in this week and let's see what is here for the Oracle of the he um, live wire I, I as usual I am so I love these cards you have the energy of wife liar and you have live wire you have the number um, eight because three and five is eight three and five is eight three and five is eight and it says when you is a powerful elector that can charge the world both your world and the world of others scientists call this elector emotions but you can think of it as a supercharged current uh, capable of taking you anywhere you want to go you can use your emotions to suffer to suffer or heal the shocking to fame good to know that it's up to you okay so live wire is actually you are recharging your energy vibration in this week and that's why the energy of the tower comes up and it's in the energy vibration of the week of the tower so you're you are an air sign and you're recharging your energy in this week whatever situation that was in just to you is finally finally going to come out and you're going to see that the situation around you is changing as you go on in the suite because you'll be relieved in a lot of things and you'll be moving on to things and leaving behind things that no longer serve you so actually it's a, a really really positive positive energy in this week it's, it's all about cleansing and transformation in this week um, um, cleansing and transformation in this week so okay let's see what is go what else is going on trust so trust that whatever is going on and trust that whatever is going to happen in this week it is uh, it is going to be good okay you you need to have faith and trust you know so ask the angels to bother your faith and trust release angst and fear from you faith and trust you need to understand that you whenever you have faith that I know I'm going to make it I know I'm going to pass this exam I know I'm going to get this job I know I'm going to get this house I know whenever you have that faith and you realize that is something that you want if you did not and you shouldn't have that thing then the universe or the angels and guide would not place it in you that you really really want this thing so no have positive faith and trust that whatever is it that is happening the universal angel asks your guides an angel for divine intervention and ask them for what you want and say if it was the will of God so ask the angels and guide to border your faith and trust because whatever is happening um, you need to have faith and trust what does it says it says 
this is a time for trusting okay sometime there is no yet no yes or no uh, no answer to a question there are situation where we are better served by not knowing what it is uh, come what is this coming that the miracle cannot unfold before our very eyes so again it is saying there are situations where we are um, better not served by knowing what is to come so that the miracle can unfold before our very eyes so this is what trust is all about sometimes you ask a question sometimes you want to know but they are saying there are some situations where we are better served by not knowing what is to come so that the miracles can unfold before our own eyes so this is wonderful this is positive this is going to be extremely positive situations that are going to happen in your life and I want to say to each and every person out there thank you for being here thank you for being back um, thank you for connecting with me please remember to go listen to your Sun moon and rising sign also go back and listen to the monthly reading because we have five weeks in this month and it's very positive that you can connect with the energy vibration in this month and I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here and please like share thumbs up this video and I'm sending you a lot of love and thank you for the messages that you have been sending namaste